If your antidepressant says fluoxetine on the label, yep, that's Prozac. And here's why doctors still love it over 30 years later. When Prozac first hit the market in 1987, it didn't just treat depression, it changed everything. It was the first modern antidepressant that helped millions manage anxiety, mood, and emotional balance without the heavy sedating side effects of older meds. And fun fact, it is still one of the most prescribed antidepressants in the world today. So what exactly does it do? Fluoxetine is an SSRI or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Think of serotonin as the feel-good messenger your brain uses to communicate. Normally, your brain reabsorbs serotonin too quickly, cutting those positive signals short. Fluoxetine helps your brain hold on to serotonin longer, keeping your mood, sleep, and emotions more stable over time. Unlike other antidepressants that wear off quickly, fluoxetine sticks around. It has a long half-life, meaning it stays in your system for several days. That's great if you occasionally forget to take a dose, and it also helps prevent the withdrawal effects people sometimes get when stopping antidepressants too fast. But fluoxetine isn't just for depression. It's approved for anxiety, OCD, panic disorder, and even bulimia. In fact, it's the only FDA-approved medication for bulimia nervosa. Doctors sometimes use it off-label for PMDD or fibromyalgia too. Because it's a little more energizing than some antidepressants, it can be great for people who feel tired or sluggish from their depression. But for others, that same boost can make it harder to sleep or increase nervousness. It really depends on your body chemistry. Like all medications, fluoxetine can cause side effects, especially in the first few weeks. The most common ones are nausea, headache, and trouble sleeping. Some people notice changes in appetite or sexual side effects. Usually, these fade away as your body adjusts. But here's something important. Don't mix fluoxetine with alcohol, St. John's wort, tramadol, or other drugs that raise serotonin levels. That combo can lead to something dangerous called serotonin syndrome. It's rare. And because fluoxetine lingers in your system, those risks can stick around even after stopping it. Fluoxetine remains a classic for a reason. It's effective, steady, and well-studied. If you're on it and ever feel like it's not working, don't stop suddenly. Talk to your prescriber. And if you found this helpful, drop a heart in the comment and follow Stan Saz because understanding your meds shouldn't feel like a mystery.